Alright, so um, good afternoon. I have about five to ten minutes to speak with you all. I practice that I'm over a little bit. <laughs> if I go over a little bit, uh, just kind of wave my hand, wave your hand, let you know, my time. But uh, my name is Christopher Belante Garden. I was born July 20th, 1990, in the great state of Georgia, Hinesville, the city. I was raised in Savannah for a little bit until about 1997 when I moved to Bedford, North Carolina. I didn't move, I was brought with my parents. <laughs> my parents were in the military, and my dad got stationed here, so I've been in Fayetteville since about 97 in high school, middle school, middle school, et cetera, and college here. And so during my college experience, I've uh, been on dean's list, chancellor's list, I won scholarships, internships, I went to China, been to New Orleans, I, I've been to Florida, Atlanta, been to Washington, D.C., Maryland, and mostly all of these trips were university-sponsored trips. And they were mainly because of me and how I've uh, gotten myself in college. And a lot of doors were open for me because of the Manette Scholars program. And so, um, how I got involved with the Manette Scholars program. It was, about, it was like my junior year, had a 3.0, so I just barely made it <laughs> for the grade point average. And so that was great. And I saw that email about an internship. And of course, the two thousand eight hundred dollars stick out to me. <laughs> Let's be honest, you know, a lot of you are probably first generation. To see two thousand eight hundred dollars in, in a matter of months is something that you probably haven't experienced legally. In a way, you know? <laughs> so it was definitely uh, something that caught my interest. But hopefully, what I'll talk to you all about today will inspire you not to just see the two thousand eight hundred, but to see the uh, greater path and the greater amounts of money that you can make along the way. And so, starting with, um, let's start with my mentor. My mentor is Dr. Edward Peter, is it Peter? I, Dr. <laughs> Edward P. String, when she used to work with Dr. String, my mentor, I used to, I used to see her often when I went, uh, when it got, got stuck with my mentor. And so after he accepted me to get my, to do an internship with me, He's an endowed professor, so he's pretty busy. So I felt pretty honored to have him be my mentor. And he's an economics-based mentor. I'm a business student. Any business students here? All right. <laughs> One. Awesome. Great. I like you, Arthur. All right, so he's a business. I'm a, I'm a business guy. He's an economics guy. I needed a mentor, so I pretty much had to do an economics-based research, which is a little bit out of comfort for me. But it was, hey, what can you do? When you, want, when you want this internship, you need to find out ways to get it. And so my internship was, uh, the topic was uh, how private police can positively affect the economy of uh, North Carolina. And so when you're doing your research, I want you to understand that, what's your major? Biology. Biology. So somebody gave you a chemistry research assignment, but it kind of matched <laughs> That's kind of how it was for me. So I wake up in the morning and have to do research on an item that I was interested in, but it didn't really go with my major. And so it was a little challenge. It was a little challenge for me. But I believe if you all get accepted to the program, you're gonna come across these challenges. Challenges. And uh, regardless of the challenge, just press, press, purse, push through. I'm not saying press, push through. Person here, there we go. Push through. It's not coming out. So just make sure you push through because because some mornings I had to wake up, make phone calls to people. Sometimes people don't want to talk to you. You got to do hours of research on a computer. And it's like, wow, you know, it, some some days it's inspiring. Some days it's just like, man, what am I doing? Am I going the right direction? Am I getting enough information? I don't know. But what was I going with that? Oh. But the experience, the experience of getting up, staying focused, making sure you're making the phone calls, making sure you're doing the research in the lab with your professor, whoever, showing that, showing your mentor that you're doing what, you're, what you've are what you been assigned to do, it pushes you forward. And the fact that Manera Scholars, what we do is, as an undergraduate student, you're doing graduate level work. And so, should you, should you become a, a member of this uh, organization, what would happen is, you'll be an undergrad with graduate level skills. Like Ms. Mercer said, you become the cream of the crop. 
that's how I got to China, that's how I got to New Orleans, et cetera, and people, other people pay me for it. And when you become the cream of the crop, you stand out. When you're in class, you're a little bit ahead of other people because of the skills that you get from this organization. You, you're a little bit more focused. You got, a, you got a goal that other people don't have. I mean, trust me, just because some of you are first generation college students, if you go to class, okay, just because you're first generation doesn't mean that you're at a disadvantage and because you want to go get a PhD, you think other people who already have parents with college degrees want to go get a PhD. People don't have this goal regardless if they're second generation, what have you. And so to have this goal puts you on a whole other level, a whole other level of focus. And so, should you get accepted to this uh, great organization, where am I at the top? Should you get accepted <laughs> to this great organization, um, you will, um, you have to do your research, things that nature. You go through the tough times. My mentor, he's an adult professor. He travels to London and Europe and stuff during the summer, so we're communicating through phone. Some of you might, have, might not experience that. Uh, sometimes he's not picking up, sometimes I'm not picking up, different time zones, et cetera, et cetera. And so you go through your challenges, challenges, challenges. Anyways, and so <laughs> what, I, what I'm trying to get to is that those challenges will help prepare you for the future, in a sense. And should you make it through, you'll be so much more on a path to success that you will be like, wow, I'm glad I went through it. And even as you're going through, should you slip and fall and things of that nature, don't worry about it because you have more opportunities. I remember the presentation day. Oh my God. <laughs> I had did research for like months. I mean, prepared this presentation. I had like 30 PowerPoint slides. I was, I was ready to go until I, until I started. <laughs> so it was like, I was like, I got here. It was like, okay, set my introduction, press play, look at the screen. It was like, and so, and so I say that to say, you know, sometimes if y'all get accepted, if you go, if you start, things of that nature, you're gonna have tough times. You know, don't worry about it. A couple of months after that, had another op opportunity to present the same research, and it did great. You know, uh, I got I got some encouraging words from my mentor, and uh, he, just, he gave me some advice and things of that nature how to improve from where I was at. Did great the second time, and so that was an awesome thing. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of close it up a little bit. And uh, if you have any questions, definitely uh, try to ask. I want to um, leave you with uh, two things on uh, remaining humble, regardless of your accomplishments and of course to give them back. So okay, you're you're the cream of the crop now. You're you're in class. You're focused on a level that other students aren't focused, you're making A's, uh, teachers are offering you job opportunities and internships and trips and things of that nature, and other students aren't getting it. You know, they're not getting these type of opportunities. That might make you feel a little bit better than other people, but what you have to remember is that just like this program was humble enough to help you, you gotta be humble enough to help other people. You gotta show other people that you care about them, that you uh, respect them, that you, uh, being humble is showing somebody that, that you respect them, that you love them, that you care about them in a genuine way, regardless, this is my own words of hum humbleness, uh, regardless of their level, regardless that their level is beneath you. So when you get when you get on that level, don't don't make other people feel bad because you're a little bit uh, higher up. And also, uh, the importance of giving back, just like this program was uh, established to uh, help give back to other first generation students, that's what you all need to do. Um, should you all get a PhD, so many doors can open up, some of you all might become millionaires, billionaires, who knows? And so, create something like this, you know, create an opportunity for another student to go get a scholarship and uh, help them accomplish something that they probably wouldn't have thought of. And uh, make sure to have a good relationship with your mentor. My mentor has helped write recommendation letters for me. Uh, we've actually uh, we're working on an essay now that, uh, well, we already submitted it for a contest. He, he presents opportunities to me. Uh, one opportunity that we're working on is, uh, should, it, should I win in first place? It's $10,000 that I'll get for that uh, essay. Uh, second place is $2,000, third place is 